next guest tonight is a comedian, actor, writer, producer, and director whose new show is John Glazer Loves Gear. Please welcome John Glazer. Good to see you again, man. Good to see you. Always oh, so nice, man. This is really great to yeah, be here. It's great to have you, you know. Yeah. I'm a huge fan, you know. Thank we've you. known each other for what 20 years, something like long that. Long time. Long time. One of the time. funniest guys I know. Oh, thank you very much. Likewise, listen, oh, one of the smartest very, funniest very guys out there. That's really nice. Yeah. Incredible. So congratulations on the show. It's amazing. I'm so glad that you oh, got Oh, real quick, show. I uh, I wrote a book too. Oh, it's called what is it called? It's called My Dead Dad Was in ZZ Top. The real story of John Glazer. It's based yeah. on a true story, right? It's a real book based on uh, a fake true story. All right, excellent. Yeah. All right, we'll get that out there too. This is also available in stores. Uh, it was it was out a few years ago, but you can go on Amazon and get a discounted copy. Okay, excellent, <laughs> excellent, fantastic. Collins yeah, paperback, uh, suitable, uh, suitable for framing. Yeah. Now this the show came out of your honest love of gear, right? Yeah, it and, really does. And and in every week you explore a new. Realm of gear? Different topic, yes. What makes something like gear and not just stuff? It's a very, it's hard to describe and define. Try. Okay. <laughs> Put some effort in. Um, it's, you know, pick, your act, the, pick the activity I'll, you love. I'll give you, I'll give you some things. You tell me this is gear or whether this is uh, just stuff, okay? okay? Gear or gadget, how about that? Well, gear a, ga or gadget. a gadget is gear. Is it really? I think so. Gadget is a sub category. Gadget falls under the yes, under the umbrella of gear. The, the, the gear is a big golf umbrella, and it covers a lot of things. Just made that up just now. You know what's gear? A golf, a golf umbrella. umbrella. Golf umbrella. <laughs> Recumbent bike. Gear. Whiskey stones. Gear. <laughs> Those shoes that have the individual toes built in. Ugh. I mean, it's gear, but ugh. Apple Watch? Gear. Automated vegetable peeler? Gear. T shirt cannon? Oh, gear, yeah. I guess it's really not so much the de definition, it's how you say the word. What do you, Meaning what do you like, mean? Gear. 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 What's the most gear you can say a word? <sighs> yeah. Gear! Wow, that got applause. Fantastic. Uh -huh. No. Now, uh, <laughs> I know you're a nice guy. Thank you. You know, from when I knew you, I mean, it may have changed since then. But <laughs> you've played a lot of jerks. Do you think you do you have experience with jerks yourself? Have you ever met any people you model your jerk them on? I have had experience with a, a, a major jerk. Who, who, who? Can you say, can you say swear words on the show? Like, sure, can you, yeah, Can absolutely. you say a-hole with the two S's in between? Sure, yeah. I met one of the biggest ass in the world. Or it's not so much that I met him, I had a close encounter. Who is this? Donald Trump. And it was a few years ago at a New York Rangers hockey game. I was sitting in some really incredible seats where a lot of wealthy, famous people sit. I'm not one of those people. I was with a famous person, a friend oh, of mine. A hockey fan. I love hockey. It's not about who I was with. I'm not name dropping, yep. but it was Will Arnett. And um, wow, hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice, thank you. And we are walking to our seats, and I can see in our row is Donald Trump. And I, he, he has to stand. And first of all, you can see on his face, which is already miserable, that he just cannot believe he has to stand for another human being. And he's just so miserable. And we, I, as we're approaching, I realize, oh, he's not only standing for us, he's holding this little teeny soft serve ice cream cone. And he was holding in such a non-normal way. It's not like a normal person that would just stand and let you pass and, you know, oh, there you go. Yeah, go ahead and hold the ice cream here so it doesn't get on you. He just, like, held it up here, right in front of his face with this terrible look on his face. And I'm passing right this close. And as I'm approaching him, like, every comedy instinct in me is just is telling me, like, <laughs> pretend to trip and just throw the full weight of your body into him. 
and shove that ice cream into his face. Because he was holding it right here. How long ago was this? Three and a half years ago. It was even he was president. holding the ice cream here. And it's yeah. one of those things that has haunted me because I feel like, had I done that, and I didn't, but had I done that, I'm truly convinced that he would have dropped out of society. He would have become, it would have become like a, it would have been a gasp in the stadium, like a, oh. <laughs> Page six, then bigger news, then world news. He becomes paranoid. He drops, he feels like I'm vulnerable. This is going to inspire copycats. I'm dropping out of society. <laughs> and he doesn't run for president. Now, here's the thing I would have been killed, there's no doubt in my mind. <laughs> He would have associated, he, who's that yeah, loser yeah, with yeah, Will yeah, Arnett? Sure, oh, he's sure. a comedy guy, have him killed. <laughs> Pretty good Trump, though, by the way. Yeah, right? no, not, not anyway, bad. so I'm convinced I would have been killed. I would have been a hero to the world in retrospect because he would not be running for president. They wouldn't know that, though. But that's the thing. Hold on, hold on. As you pointed out, we wouldn't know that. No one would know what you did. None of us would be sitting here, maybe five of us. Yeah. But all of our lives would have been different from that point on because uh -huh. it would have been such world news. Can I ask you a question about this entire story? Yeah. Were you wearing this when... Uh, I was wearing this with a, a sport coat. You have to wear a sport coat in this. Suits. You're right. I know that's yeah. it. Well, John, good to see you, man. And the, good to see the gear, too. Thank you. Scribo? Scribo. Always the best. John Glazer loves gear. Here's Wednesday on True TV. John Glazer, everybody.